How much would just being grateful change your home? If you looked at the person, parent, child, spouse, you just looked at the person and you chose gratitude. I am so grateful for all they do in our home. I'm so grateful for what they provide, how they love, how they, whatever that thing is that that person, the role they play. I'm not talking about being by being perfect. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about people, you know, not being frustrating. But again, it goes back to what he talked about. Put your hope in Christ, not your hope in these other people. If, if I put my hope in my spouse, she misses my expectations, I get frustrated. If I don't have expectations of my spouse, I don't get frustrated. I didn't expect her to do anything anyway. Is your hope in your kids? If your kids are getting great grades, if your kids are scoring all the touchdowns, hitting all the home runs, and you know, doing great in school and whatever, then, hey, you're awesome. But what if your kid's struggling? What if they choose to struggle? They don't, get, they don't care. Is your hope in your kid? What happens when your kids aren't there anymore? Hope is in your mind. Name the thing, pick the topic. It don't, it don't matter, just pick the topic. My point I want you to understand is that whether you show to to have generosity that's motivated by gratitude, or you show show yourself not to be very generous because you're not very grateful at the end of the day. It reflects something. I would go as far as to say it reflects who your God really is. 